Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're gonna to show you how to make Cuban sandwiches. I've got some pork tenderloins that we're gonna marinate, get on the smoker in some good hickory smoke, and then we're gonna cut it up and assemble these sandwiches on the grill. You're gonna love it. Let's get to cooking. Today I'm starting with a couple pork tenderloins. You can get these at your supermarket. They usually come in a double pack. Just clean them up a little bit when you open them up. Take off that silver skin. If they've got a little bit of fat, that's okay, that's flavor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them in a marinade. And this is a Cuban style marinade. I'm starting with some orange juice, some fresh lime juice, a little bit of zest from those oranges. We've got some cilantro going in, a little bit of mint to really give it some flavor. You gotta have some garlic, and then we're putting some seasonings in it. We've got salt, pepper, a little oregano, and a little bit of cumin. It's gonna balance it all out. Right when we get it going in the food processor, we're gonna drizzle in some olive oil. It's gonna bring that marinade together. Drop the pork tenderloins down in a Ziploc bag and just pour the marinade over it, but save about half a cup because I'm gonna show you how to make a glaze for these pork tenderloins that we're gonna use right at the end of the cooking process. Now they need to marinate for about two to three hours in the refrigerator. Hey, if you wanna go overnight with them, they're just gonna soak up even more flavor. So now I've got these pork tenderloins fresh out of the marinade. They sit there for two or three hours in the refrigerator and I brought them out. I just want them to come up to room temperature while I fire up the grill. I'm going to be cooking on my big green egg today. We're going to set it up for indirect cooking. Got some good royal oak lump charcoal going and a couple wax cubes just to get the fire going. Once those coals get good and hot, you want to go ahead and put some wood on. I'm using hickory today. Just about three chunks spread out over those hot coals. It's going to give us some nice smoke. Put the plate setter in for indirect heat. Get your grill grate on and then close the egg and let it stabilize. You want to get that top vent adjusted and about an inch on the bottoms, all the airflow you're gonna need. We're wanting to keep it about 275 to 300, right in that range to cook these pork tenderloins. And of course, as always, you can cook these pork tenderloins on any grill, just set it up similar. We're just wanting to get them cooked in a smoked environment. So set your smoker on about 275, you can follow right along. So the egg's running right where I want it, right about 275 degrees. We're gonna put these pork tenderloins on. Make sure they're on there straight because that's how they're gonna cook. You don't have to put any seasoning on that. Marinade's doing all the flavor for us. You can still see we've got pieces of that garlic, cilantro, that mint, orange zest. That's gonna be all our flavors right there. We're just gonna close the lid and we're gonna cook these until the internal temperature about 140 degrees. So now we're just gonna get the pork tenderloins cooked. Close the lid down and this is a good time to go ahead and show you how I'm gonna make this glaze with that reserved marinade. So I've got a small saucepan here over medium high heat, and I'm gonna add a half a cup of that reserved marinade from our pork tenderloins. To that, we're adding a little bit of vinegar, some sugar, some honey, a couple tablespoons of mustard. We're gonna get it all whisked together, and we're just gonna bring it up to a slight boil and reduce it down until it has almost a syrup-like consistency. Take it off the heat and just store it in a jar until we're ready to use it here when these pork tenderloins are done. All right, our pork tenderloins have been cooking about 25 minutes. I wanna get them colored up on both sides. You can see they're starting to dry out a little bit on top. That's what we want to see. They're getting a little bit of color, but I want to get them flipped because I want to get some of this on both sides. Get them cooking even. Looks good. We we'll Just get the lid down. Keep letting them cook. All right, so we've been a total of about 40 minutes here on these pork tenderloins, running about 300 degrees on the eggs right where we want it. We should have some color on both sides, and this is the point where I want to start glazing them. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Got a little bit of char going. And let me just get my thermopin just to verify. I want to be about 140, 145. We're about 144 right there. That looks great. Feels good going in. I know they're ready to glaze. Won't be long. We need probably about five or 10 minutes. Now we're going to put this glaze on that we cooked down. It's the same flavors that we had in our marinade and we just made a simple little glaze with it. Smelling good, looking good. This glaze is going to sweeten it up a little bit. I just flipped the tenderloins over and we're gonna get a little glaze on that bottom side too. We're just gonna keep the lid closed and let that glaze sit on those pork tenderloins for just a little bit, five, 10 minutes, they're gonna be ready to take off. All right, we've glazed on both sides with our pork tenderloins just to make sure, oh yeah, 148, that one's done. We're there, both of them are where we want them. It's time to get these dudes up, check that out. Cuban style pork tenderloins. You know they're gonna make some good sandwiches. Gotta run inside, get all this stuff to assemble these Cuban sandwiches. Y'all stick around, we'll show you how we put these together, how we're gonna finish them off. All right, our pork tenderloins have rested, so we're gonna go ahead and get them cut up for the sandwiches. And you just wanna cut them thin for this part. Oh, one try to jump off there. I'm just using my knife, kinda holding it at a little bit of a bias. 
You can cut them up however you like them. This looks good to me. Man, it's tender. I'll have to move that one out of the way for a second. And we just want a little, look at the smoke ring on that. You know it's good by itself. It's juicy, it's tender. And I'm cutting them about a quarter inch. Just right for making a Cuban sandwich. Little end piece is gonna be mine. Mmm. Mmm. That's flavor right there. I love that. Really taste the marinade in it. It's glaze makes it a little sweet, but the citrus comes through from the orange juice, the lime, the mint, all that is excellent on pork. So the pork tenderloin is sliced. Now we're ready to build a Cuban sandwich. And a Cuban sandwich has to have a few components. It's gotta have a good roasted pork, the Cuban marinade. It's gotta have some yellow mustard, some ham, some dill pickle slices, and some Swiss cheese. All those go together to make that famous Cuban sandwich. Of course, you gotta have some bread. I don't have the Cuban bread, but you can use any soft bread like a French or Italian. I've got a couple loaves of French bread here. First thing we're gonna do on our bread, you're just gonna split your French loaf in half, and then we're gonna start with that mustard. Both parts of the bread gotta have the mustard. That's what makes it a Cuban sandwich. Now the next part is the cheese, and the cheese is gonna be the glue that's gonna hold it together. We're using Swiss cheese, top and bottom right on top of the mustard. Next layer is those dill pickle slices. Use whatever kind of pickles you like. I like these stacker versions. Then I'm gonna layer on some ham. This is a deli sliced ham. It's kind of thin. It's a honey smoked ham. We've got that layer on top of the pickles. Now it's time for the pork. And you're just gonna lay that right on top of the ham. I mean, look how good that is already. And we're still gonna put it back on the grill, sandwich it down with a good cast iron skillet so it kind of mashes it flat. Wow, that's a heck of a sandwich. So these sandwiches are just about ready for the grill. I'm just cutting, putting a few pats of butter right on top of them to really brown that bread up. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna raise our grill temperature up. You want it about 375. I've added a set of grill grates on there to put some nice marks on it. And we're gonna get these over to the grill right on the grate. So we've got our sandwich here. We're going right on top of our grill grates. We grab the other one right beside it here on the grill. And now right on top, we need a little weight. So I'm just using a flat iron skillet, and that's gonna be our press. It's gonna help that sandwich flatten out a little bit, melt those cheeses. We need about three minutes on each side. We'll come back in just a second and show you what they look like. All right, we've been three minutes. I'm gonna check on these sandwiches and see how we're doing. Depending on your grill, you know, you might have to go a little bit longer. Oh yeah, check it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Iron skillet right on top. Let's check this side, see how they're looking. Oh man, that's toasted up. Oh man, these are perfect. Let's get them off here. So we ended up going about four minutes on each side, pressing them down into those grill grates, browning the bread up, getting the cheese melted, combine all those good flavors together. Now I wanna cut into them so you can see what they look like on the inside. I'm just gonna kinda cut it at a diagonal here. Let's open it up. Do this one as well. Check that out. Cuban sandwich, beautiful. This one right here looks great. I mean, look at all those layers. See the mustard, the cheese, the pork, the ham. Let's get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is just awesome. I mean, you get all those flavors in one bite. Hey, I wanna try a little bit more with the cheese in that pork just makes this sandwich. It would be good, but with the pork added, it's phenomenal. Hey, next time you want to make a good sandwich on the grill, give this Cuban sandwich recipe a try. I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for checking us out here today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can send the questions and comments to our Facebook and Twitter. We love those. We try to answer all of them. We'll see y'all next time.